price. But the kind of clients that we work with, we feel that there is a very low overlap in terms of the kind of customers that see, uh, that uh, Field Life is going after versus the customers that we go after. I feel because uh, if I had to serve them together, which is corporates, uh, corporate world and the trade show world, uh, my pricing is going to be different. Corporates are more towards subscription trade shows, prefer more per event based pricing. Uh, they have different levels of requirement for data. There are different users that are there. Uh, the way that we handle them on the customer support is different. The kind of sales people that we would hire would be different because one needs to be selling to a marketer, but the other one needs to be se selling to a planner. Um, and one is trying to optimize the event and all of those things. And other is trying to do uh, um, increase the pipeline. So because the requirements are so different, this is a decision that we took last year that our internal team was getting confused so much that who are we building the product for that we thought that we do not want to bring the same level of confusion to our external customers. So let's just separate them out. It's okay. A lot of companies run uh, this way. We have seen a lot of companies within this space as well who have acquired and then have merged and created a new brand and then are selling to maybe multiple markets at the same time. Uh, we feel that the brand gets diluted. Um, uh, it creates it could be good in the short term, but maybe in the long term, uh, it will become difficult for a customer or a, for, or a prospect to choose the company that they want to work with.